Hey guys, welcome to part two. Um, I have a European edition now, so I'm not sure if I... Ah, yeah, I press X to continue. So here we go. After the Shadow Moses incident, don't know what that is, technology and nuclear iron war, walking tank Metal Gear leaks onto the black market. Oh. Salt Snake and his allies from the anti-metal gear NGO Philanthropy set out in pursuit of a tanker carrying a new Metal Gear prototype, but Snake falls into a trap set by former Foxhound member Ocelot and is believed lost along with the tanker at the bottom of the Hudson River. <sighs> Two years later, the Big Shell, an oil spill cleanup facility constructed on the bay, is taken over by terrorists led by a man claiming to be the long-lost Solid Snake. The government sent Raiden... Raiden? Daiden? A new recruit in the Foxhound to infiltrate the Big Shell and rescue the US president. Oh, so now the president is held hostage. But isn't the president Solidus? Do we want to rescue him? Instruction manual. <laughs> uh, oh, that looks cool. Look at that artwork. Wow. Oh shit. I hope they teach me in the game too. That's a lot of shit to remember. First person view, R1. Square, weapon button, X, crouch. Okay, so that's the same. Triangle, action button. So that's different. Punch, knock on wall, that's the same. This is really tiny. Oh wait, I can zoom. Ah, okay. Pause, switch between codec mode and normal mode. Okay, so let's select, that's good. Uh, okay. Lock on to enemy soldiers when aiming with a weapon. Some weapons do not have lock on capability. Okay, you can lock on. That's new. Equipment window, L2. Oh, okay, so that's the same. The shoulder buttons are still for stuff to equip and to... Oh, okay, that's nice. I almost, almost forgot the <laughs> controls of part one already. Uh, yeah, I think I kind of got it. Sort of. Okay. So choke. Yeah, I think it's actually kind of the same. Start game. Are you purring? Are you that comfy on my lap? So yeah, I got the Legacy Edition from Martin. Thank you, Martin. Oh, I forgot to grab the... He also gave me a can of Red Bull. <laughs> and I want to record a lot today. So I was planning on drinking it, starting the game. But I'll, I'll grab it in a couple of episodes then. I don't know if I have to install anything or if this is on the disc. Kojima, Mr. Small Island. I clicked on the right game, didn't I? I was confused because it was like chronological order on the disc. It feels weird clicking on the third game, but... So what do we got? Hieroglyphs? How many years was there between the first one and the second one? First game was 98, right? Released in 98. Oh, Japanese. My contacts are already giving me trouble. David Hayter, Solid Snake.
Bye, Kojima. Holy shit, that looks good. Metal Gear Solid 2, Sons of Liberty. With a purr. Wonder if you can hear that. HD edition. Nice. Okay. Um Ooh, access forward. Gotta remember that. Blood on. Intrusion view. I guess I'll just leave it on default. Okay, there's no subs thing. Uh, special missions, snake tails. Um, if I have to watch like a mission brief thing again, let me know if that's in this menu. But if not, I'm just gonna continue or start. Wait, what? Tanker plant? Tanker plant. What's the difference? I guess I'll just pick the top one. What the fuck? I guess this is the default one, so let's just go with that. I can hopefully change it if I should do otherwise. So for this game, I am not reading the comments. Um, I am reading them, but not I'm reading them ever. indirectly. Two years ago, we had classified intelligence that a new type of metal gear was scheduled for transport. That's David. The whole thing stank, but our noses have been out in the cold too long. My husband's gonna read all your comments on Metal Gear, and he will filter for me. So if it's spoiler, he's not gonna give it to me. If it's tips, he is gonna give it to me. And I am mentally prepared that this is a weird game. People have been um, warning me to keep an open mind, so I'm trying. Um, yeah, that's basically it. <laughs> and it's parking. So who is it? Who are we looking at? And before you say it, yes, I know some of these cutscenes are ridiculously long, and there's even one that's like around an hour. We're just gonna watch it. It's gonna be a long episode. Deal with it. What are you gonna do? Hey. Oh, cool! He has the tech, the invisibility tech. Yeah. 
Is it snake? Solid snake? So what are we doing here? Or did I miss that information? <laughs> It's the same dude that did the musical one, isn't it? Konami is so gonna be on my ass for this game. Oh, did your invis invisibility tech just falter? <laughs> He's getting old. He'll know soon enough. My contacts are annoying me. Loud and clear. Oh, sorry, snake. kitty. Kept you waiting, huh? I'm at the sneak point. Everything going okay? Mm, stealth camo's busted. Landing impact. We must have overused it. They're still sorry, friends. Sorry, but you're gonna have to deal with it. You're not in the military anymore. Right. I didn't plan on relying on this gadget anyway. The private sector's not so bad, is it? Privacy guaranteed? I'm happy as long as no one gives me any more unwanted gifts. You mean that thing with Naomi? Naomi. And I can't say I miss the chattering nanny. Mei Ling's not so bad. Well, that reminds me, I have to get in touch with her again about that new Natick flashware. Diverting toys from the SSCEN again? Look, give her a message from me. Someone will find out, sooner or later. She's better off assuming it's sooner and quit while she's safe. Too true. Okay, Snake, let's get to work. It's the same voice actors, too. You know too. how the technical specs of Metal Gear were sold on the black market after Shadow Moses? All Ocelot's doing. Exactly. And now every state, group, and dot-com has its own version of Metal Gear. Nice. Not exactly a classified weapon for today's nuclear powers. This new one seems to have been designed to wipe the floor with all the other models. The only consistent description is that it's an amphibious, anti-Metal Gear vehicle. That explains why this one is under Marine Corps jurisdiction. Okay. The mission objective is to make visual confirmation of the new Metal Gear being transported by that tanker and bring back photographic evidence. Okay. But I want you first to go up to the top level of the infrastructure, to the bridge. We need to find out where the tanker is headed. Bridge. A little reconnaissance, huh? There's too much we don't know about this new prototype. Capabilities, deployment method, we don't even know how close it is to completion. If we know where the testing arena is, I can start to draw some reasonable conclusions. All right, I'll head to the bridge ASAP. Try to avoid ASAP. confrontations. Yeah. Our goal is to collect evidence on Metal Gear development and expose it to the world. It would be best if you could get out of there without alerting anyone. Don't worry. That's gonna be I tough. The drill. We're not terrorists. Very good. Don't you forget that you're part of philanthropy now, an anti-Metal Gear organization and officially recognized by the UN. Recognized, but still fringe, Otacon. Okay. I'm nervous. All right, let's look at your gear. Ah. Your weapon is a tranquilizer gun converted ah. from a Beretta M92F. M9. It's a little hard to work with because you have to reload after each shot since the slide locks. Oh, fuck. Better than scavenging at the mission site. Good suppressor, too. The chemical stun will take effect in a few seconds and last for hours. You can take down an elephant with that thing. Okay. Check out the laser sighting, too. The effects of the anesthetic round will vary depending on what part of the body is hit. 
We're talking about a difference of tens of seconds between hitting limbs, chest, or head. As for the equipment... Hey, Snake? Cigarettes? What's wrong with you? <laughs> it's kind of a lucky charm. Yeah. You haven't read the Surgeon General's warning, have you? Here's the digital camera. Works almost the same way as your old one. Oh, that went by so fast. Whoa, dude. I'm still not used to how good your face looks. They don't look armed. Hey, Earth to Snake. These are nice, upstanding Marines, not terrorists. Don't get caught. You're in stealth mode here. Sure. And if it comes to that, a little beauty sleep never hurt anyone. By the way, Autocar, are you sure of this intelligence? Absolutely. Hacked it out of the Pentagon's classified files myself. No traces? Oh, please. I'm too good for that. But this might be a trap. Remember, there's a price on our heads. You're just being paranoid. I hope so. Those men. You wouldn't think they were anything but civilians from here. With all the ships passing on the river and in the harbor, putting uniformed marines on the deck would be a bad idea. People can get a clear view of the water from Riverside, too. The water line is too high. According to the navigational plans, this ship should have discharged its cargo upriver. It's in there, no doubt about it. The military trains you to watch for threats from the stern on a boat. That's SOP for counter-terror ops, too. Security should be tighter. You worry too much. Where's the target? Oh. Satellite surveillance is a major international pastime these days. I'd say the cargo holds safely below the deck. Do you see the entrance to the holds? Looks like there are a few entryways into the crew quarters. The chopper. What? Whoa, 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 whoa. <gasps> Who's those guys? Holy shit. Take pictures, dude. Looks like we're not the okay. only ones after Metal Gear tonight. Is that a chopper I just heard? Affirmative. Probably another cavalry. It's their game. Hijack? They're probably targeting the ship's controls. Otacon. How many men do you need? Take over a tanker of this size. The ship is run by a computer, so I'd say about 18 people. Okay, that's not that much. AKS 74U. What? Who's that dude? Russians? You sure? No marine barber touched that head of hair. <laughs> yep, it's a Russian. I'm transmitting a photo. Let's get an ID on him ASAP. I'm on it. Okay. If only we still had that stealth. Like tanker's theirs now. K-60 Kasatka. <laughs> Kasatka? Kamov Chopper, right? Killer Whale. Okay. We need to get a fix on who they are. Judging by their transport, aren't they some kind of military commandos? Not necessarily. It could be the KA-62, the civil model. Look, Snake, all we need is the photographic evidence of Metal Gear. As long as we have those, we can put it online and blow the whole thing wide open. So no pyrotechnics, okay? All right. I'll do my best. <laughs> this isn't like Shadow Moses. Reach me if anything happens. The frequency's 141.12. How can I check in and save my progress? I'll do it. There's a frequency set aside for it. 140.96. Sorry, but no Mei Ling this time. <laughs> Call me on the codec when you want to save. Got it. I'll be waiting just past the Verrazano Bridge. You need to be off that ship by then. I'll be in touch. Okay. Wait. Let me check. Otacon save. You want to save, Snake? Yes.
Okay. Snake, you of course know the saying, one for all, all for one. What is this all of a sudden? Oh, I figured you'd need a lot of motivation, so I came prepared. It's from the Three Musketeers. The book, <laughs> not the candy bar. Kitty has anyway, a paw on the controller. that if you go up against everyone by yourself, they'll gang up on you too, I think. Since you're on your own on that ship, you need to take this to heart and avoid confrontation. I want to. How was that? Just like the old days, huh? Almost reminds me of Mei Ling. But you sure you got it right? Of course. <laughs> and I'll teach you a lot more of these. You can count on it. Great. Okay. Oops. Oh. Okay. Oh, God. So where's my laser pointer? Um... Wasn't it this? Ah, okay. So I have to get to the bridge. You have to press circle to... Or... Okay. You just have to press up against the wall and he'll look. Wow, you look so cool! <laughs> Holy shit! Is it upstairs or downstairs? Okay. Okay, there's nothing here. Oh! Pantasmin. What's that? Serves as muscle relaxant, treats autonomic imbalance. Okay. So where do I need to go? There's someone coming. Or is it a floor higher? Must be a floor higher then. Bandage. Oh, there's a soldier. Oh, and he's coming this way. Ah! Should I strangle him? I wanted to strangle him, but oh, of course, I have this equipped. Do I have to move him? I don't know how to move him. Oh. Uh oh. Ah. Okay. Let's move him under the stairs. You should actually get his clothing. That would be convenient. There. Fuck, what am I supposed to do? Okay, there's nothing here. Oh. Wait, what? How did he see me? Is he coming down? Holy shit! Ah, it still works. Nice. Bye. Okay. Got them nicely lined up. He just called me, didn't he? Wait. Okay, I guess not. This is a door. Oh, I just was past it again? Snake. Oh, go that took that a long time. Into the ship's interior. Push the action button down in front of the door and wait until the door opens before letting go. If you need to open the door faster, what? hit the action button repeatedly while you turn the handle. Make sure you really? keep doing it until the door is open. What's the action button?
Okay. Whoa. Is that Chinese or Japanese? Japanese, I guess, but... Oh, he's so cool. Oh. Is it a fake door? Okay. Whoa, look at his butt. Holy shit. That's a tight butt. Can I do something here? Bit hard to control it. Okay. Oh, this opens. Can I hide in these? Yeet. Strangle him. <laughs> yeah. Bye. Okay. What's here? Isn't this a door? Oh, it is. Oh, it's locked. Okay. Jeez, this is like super exciting from the get-go. I remember when I first played... Uh, when I was first playing um, Metal Gear Solid 1, it started off a bit cartoony and I was like, oh, this is just fun. Uh, that's not where I was supposed to go. Ah, go back. I want to check upstairs first. Music's awesome. I can't, no. Oh, ah. Uh. No, 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 fuck. <laughs> I didn't want to do that. Okay. Can I walk while I'm aiming? Oh, ah. Uh, no! Don't walk away. No, don't. Okay, so what is he doing? Just walking back and forth? And that one guy who's back there, he walks out and then back in. Okay. Is that it? Ah, I have to hold it. Is he gonna see that? No, he's not. Oh, fuck. No, 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 no. <laughs> I haven't really... Oh. Oh, I got him, after all. I got him, but then he noticed me. Okay. Rations! <gasps> it's rations! It's the same. Okay. Uh, where do I want to go? I don't want to go to the engine room. I need to go to the bridge, so that would be up, right? Ah! Oh. Okay. Cruise quarters. Ah, oh, okay. Wait. Hmm? Wow. Ah. 
I still don't know how to just strangle him immediately. Where should I go? Can't go here. Oh, this goes up. Maybe I should try that. I have no clue where I'm going. <laughs> so cool. Ah! What am I gonna do against that? Is it moving? I think this works. Let's just keep going up. <laughs> Holy fuck. This takes a long time to appear, doesn't it? You have to stand on exactly the right spot for the thing to appear. Snake, yep. wait! Don't move. I'm not moving. I see it. Some kind of device on both sides of the hall. I didn't. Infrared sensors? Right. And they're linked to... Let me guess. Semtex. What's that? Exactly. Plastic explosives. Okay. If you trip the sensors... I'll be sleeping with the fishes, along with this entire ship. Okay. That sounds about right. So what do I do? Hmm. There aren't that many infrared beams. Maybe you can get past those without setting off the explosives. Okay. If you need to see exactly where the beams are, you can use the usual method. There's a fire extinguisher over there. Oh. Break it open and try scattering some of the extinguishing chemicals. I can I all I can also just use my smokes, can't I? Can I find a box here? What did I get? <laughs> I got a box! I got a box! Ah! <laughs> it's so cool! Wait, what? Is he gonna come here? Okay. Ooh. What's he gonna do? He fell asleep. Oh. I want to just strangle them immediately. <laughs> there. We should put him in a box too. So what's this? Bullets. Oh, nice. Okay, um, I guess I'm gonna cut it here. It's like 20 minute cutscene, 20 minute gameplay. Not exactly, but kind of. Um, so I'm gonna cut it now before anything else shows up. And I'll see you guys tomorrow for more.